people need to actually mark out the points. Okay, there are some of you, your points are actually all over the place. Right, and also in this question itself, I think the entire class only two people gave me the correct uh, answer in the sense that the question asks also what kind of figure it is. Okay, because this is a four sided figure, so it is a quadrilateral. So this part was also missed out by a number of you. Okay, I just wrote it onto the graph paper itself, the grid part. Reason because I didn't want to free, I want to save paper. Okay, so I didn't want to write it on the other side of the of the paper. Okay, then after that, like I mentioned earlier, you need to mark out by drawing crosses. Okay, to mark and label all this. Okay, and likewise for the one on the triangle, some of you very uh, small, very big triangles. Of course, your triangle can be placed. Okay, uh, it can be. David, David, David. No, don't be killed. You're going to take your own photo. Oh, David, David. Where are the photos? You left it there. Okay, can we continue? Right? Uh, sorry, I think my photocopy might not have actually cut off. Might not have printed this out. So there should be arrow sign and label X. Some of you label X axis, no need, just label of the letter X. Okay, small letter, alright? Uh, likewise, over here, axis also. Okay, area of triangle, the working is actually over here. Alright, uh, I hope that you can read uh, whatever that's written. I don't think it comes out very well on the visualizer. Okay, next thing, question 4. This is even more important, okay? Some of you really keep it nonsense, alright? I mentioned before, graph is going to take up quite a number of marks okay, in future especially. Uh, so, there are a number of you who didn't plot any point and then a line can appear. I don't know how you can have a line appearing without any plotting. Okay? I know that the values, the table that I gave you was different, but regardless of the case, okay, even this, I can actually uh, plot out a line already. Okay? So, in exam, there will be a table of values given to you. Okay, then I'll get the points over here, please mark it out. So that's why you need to have the markings. Okay? Then a ton of you also didn't write down okay, what is the value of A, B, and C. Okay? So in part 2, this is exercise 2 B question 4. In part 2 itself, right, you will be asked okay, to find using the graph okay, the value of A. Let me find the
Uh, question A. In exercise 2A, I didn't provide the answers. Okay, but some of you did get it wrong. So for exercise 2A, question A, right? This is the question itself. To find out what is the value of y and x. So the equation of the function is this, find the value of y when x equals to negative 2. So you put in x equals to negative 2 over here. So I want you to write your corrections on this white space here. Exercise 2a, question 8. Equation 1 times 3, okay? So, she's 
this equation 1 times 3 and we will be getting this which simplifies to 9x plus 12y equals 15 okay then what next so after multiplying by 3 already okay uh, what do you think will be the next thing to do uh, Sylvia Two, equation 2 What thing 2? Equation 2 uh -huh, Then Times 2 We want to eliminate away uh, Y Equation 2 times 2 If I were to do that I am getting this Does this 2 equation help us in eliminating Y? So it's multiplying by 2 Correct. Oh. Then what should we do? What should I multiply by? Yeah. Four. Okay. So multiplying by four, I will be getting eight x minus twelve y equals to thirty six. Okay. And now we see that we have a plus twelve y and minus twelve y. Okay, and that will help us to do the elimination. Okay, so now we label this as equation 3, equation 4. Okay, what do we need to do with equation 3 and 4? Yes, Damien? Okay, equation 3 minus equation 4. This one is what? Plus 4 point, right? This is minus 4 point. Do we need equation 3 minus equation 4? No. It should be plus, right? Okay, so when they are different due to the operation in front, okay, we minus them. If they are exact, sorry, if they are different, then we plus them. If they are the same, okay, then we minus. Right? So we should be taking equation 3 plus equation 4. Y equals to 5 and negative x minus 4y equals to 2. 
Okay, let's do the starting part together. What would you do with these equations? Aditi, what would you have done? Um, equation 1 times 4. Equation 1 times 4. Okay, so Maliki suggested equation 1 times 4. Okay, maybe you're thinking something else that is also fine, I hope. Okay, uh, but let's just work with equation 1 times 4 first. Okay, then after that, I will be getting this. Simplifies to this part here. Okay? So Maliki, can you tell me why you want to transform? Um, so that the y uh, and the y can Okay, so that you can eliminate away the y. So Maliki's intention of multiplying by 4 is to eliminate away the y in order to introduce a 4y over here. Okay, so now I have this equation 3 already. Okay, then I can start to consider uh, eliminating away the y's. Right? How to eliminate away the y's then in this case? What should I do to eliminate away the y's? Uh, Jia, what do you think? You got this already and this one. Sorry? Equation 2 times 1. Why is it times 1 times 1? It will be the same one. There's no point in doing times 1. Okay? So that means it's the same. So it still be equation 2. You, read, you know that, right? You know that, uh huh? So then what will you do? I have equation 2 and equation 3. What must I do to Sorry, 2 plus 3 Is it? Is it equation 2 plus equation 3? You say that? Equation 2 minus away equation 3 in order to eliminate away y. Okay, then uh, who disagrees with it? Okay, who is not sure what's happening? That means uh, you're not anywhere. Where are you? Are you outside the classroom? Huh? Listening? Oh, you disagree, okay? Uh, maybe put that plastic bag down for for the chest so that you can see. Thank you. Okay. Um. So let's look at this, okay? Uh, Jerry, you say you disagree. Why you disagree? Because we are like using it and why? Uh huh. So you want to eliminate away y? You should take equation three plus two. But we're trying to see negative 4y and negative 4y, right? Are they exactly the same? If they are exactly the same, then we should be minus, alright? Okay? Only if they are different, like how we saw over here, whereby this is plus 4y and minus 4y, then we do a plus, okay? So we should do 2 minus 3. So what Jin Jie said is correct, okay? We should take negative x minus 4y minus away 8x minus 4y. It goes 2 minus 20. Okay? And that simplifies to negative x minus 4y minus 8x plus 4y equals to negative 20. So we see negative 4y and plus 4y now. So it disappears. Just like minus 2 plus 2 becomes 0. Yes. Can we use equation 3 and 1? No. Because equation 3 and equation 1, right? 2x is on 8x. So negative y is on negative 4y. So you will not get yourself to eliminate anything. Okay? And furthermore, equation 3 came from equation 1. So you are doing the same thing over and over again. Alright? So it doesn't help at all. Okay? 
So therefore, negative x minus 8x, you get negative 9x yeah. equals to negative 18. Okay? Then after that, x will be equal to negative 18 over negative 9. And we get 2. Okay? So, then after that, next step, we want to find y. So I will let x equals to 2 into where? How will you have chosen, right? Let x equals to 2 into which equation? Equation 1, okay? Right, so we will have 2 bracket 2 minus y equals to 5. And if 4 minus y equals to 5, okay, how do we find y next? We look, how to find y? 4 minus y equals to 5. So y equals to 1. Y equals to 5. 5 over 4. You think 4 minus 5 over 4 is equals to 5? Negative y equals to 5 minus 4. Okay, yes. What do you want? So, uh, sorry, let me erase this part. The whiteboard. Okay, so negative y equals to 5 minus 4. Okay, and that is equals to 1. Is that the answer? No. Okay, what next? Y equals, uh, y equals to negative 1, right? Okay, so we got x and y. I would like you to give part C a try. Okay? I don't need you to do part B, I want you to do part C.
plus 3y is a minus 3y. They are different with the plus and minus. Okay. So, I am going to achieve this. Okay. Let me maybe just show you the wrong one. So, so that you can really understand why is it that the minus doesn't have doesn't help you. Okay, this is what happens when I have equation 1 minus equation 3. Oh, okay. If I open this up, the brackets, okay, I will be having this. Plus minus becomes minus. Okay, and this will be 33. Whereas in this case, when I remove the brackets, this will give me a minus 9x. Minus minus becomes a positive. Okay? At this stage over here, I will have 2x minus 9x, so I will have a x left over. Plus 3y plus 3y, that is plus 6y. So I still have my x and y. Okay, and that doesn't help us at all. The whole uh, process in doing elimination is to get rid of one of it so that I can focus on that object first. Okay? Whereas in this case, what I will have is 2x plus 9x, that's 11x, equals to 33. Because the plus 3y and minus 3y ends up being 0. So x is equals to 3. Because 33 divided by 11. So when x equals to 3, we let it into any one of the equations that you like. Okay, so let's say maybe let, let's put it in equation 1. I will have this. So I'll get 6 plus 3y equals to 18. 3y will be equals to 18 minus 6. That's 12 y equals to 12 divided by 3 so we have 4 okay so that's how we get the answer all right any questions no all right now let's get back to our notes and exercise book Get 
we can deal with these two items like that. Okay, so now uh, I think it's uh, simple for us already, hopefully. Okay, uh, what's the next step? What do we need to do with the next step? Two minus three. Equation 2 minus equation 3, how many of you agree with that? Taking equation 2 minus away equation 3. Okay, yes. So we have this plus y and this plus y over here. They are the same. So equation 2 minus equation 3. Okay. 
So we have x minus 2y equals to 0. That will become equation 3. So we have done adjusting equation 1 already. Now we have to adjust equation 2. For equation 2, table is saying times 3. Times 3 does it help to get rid of every single denominator? No, right? You only have to get rid of this, right? We are still with, we still need to deal with this. Okay, so is there a single number that I can multiply throughout and get rid of all the denominators together? 24. 24? Okay, yes, I think it can be 24, yes. Okay, so we multiply by the lowest common multiple. Okay, so 24 happens for every single 3, 6, and 8.
one brackets. Four y disappears. We are left with six x because eight x minus two x. So x is equal to one point five. Okay. Then after that, we let x equals to one point five into which equation? When into which equation? Equation 1, okay? Yes, I think equation 1 might be a more sensible choice. But I still got denominator one. You sure you want to do it? You sure you can handle that? Very good, very good equation Okay, we can do it in equation 3, equation 4, equation 5, actually any or uh, 1. Alright? I definitely wouldn't recommend putting it into equation 2. La, okay? You put it into equation 2, uh, it's really a test of your algebra skills. Or even myself, I also don't like to do that. Okay? So I'll put x equals to 1.5, maybe into equation or 3. Okay, how about that? Okay, so 1.5 minus 2y is equal to 0. So 1.5 is equal to 2y. I shift the minus 2y to the right. So y is equal to 1.5 divided by 2. That is 0 0.75 or 3 quarter. Okay, you can leave your answers in fraction that's small as long as they're exactly the same. Okay, that's fine. So this example also wants to tell you your answers may not always be whole numbers, may not always be integers. Okay? They can be decimal, they can be fractions. Okay? I think I'll just end here today. Okay. Um, however, to speed things up, right? Our next lesson is on Friday, correct? Could I get you to do your workbook question 4 at home? That one? Friday. No, it's not the same. The handwriting so ugly. Okay. Brand one. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. Don't make a book book. Uh, so, so next time you stop prank, huh? Then you say not ever that way. Go to page 51. Questions 4A and 4B. Okay. If it's doing at home, I really don't think the space provider is enough. So I suggest you do it on the schedule. Okay? Yes, go book. Okay, I will go through this in class on Friday. Wow.